everybody, Brian Scotto here from the Hoonigans, and this is the Gymkhana Grid Masters Playlist. Uh, we'll go for it. <laughs> so, like, how many times I've heard this? Have you ever listened, though? <laughs> the crew at Motifest invited us out here to do what Hoonigan does best, and that's build a Gymkhana right here in Hawaii. For this, we obviously need a driver that's ready to go fast and break a few things along the way. Before becoming a proper Gymkhana driver, you're going to have to master the craft, and that means a bit of workshopping and a lot of action. Every Gymkhana driver gets a dope machine, and you will get yours. But first, you're gonna have to get to the end of this. La prudence n'a plus sa place. Ici, on pilote en mode unigan. What's up, Scotto here from Hoonigan. Hey, I'm super stoked to see another aspiring Gymkhana driver. And I want to welcome you to Tire Slayer Studios, our headquarters. The Motorfest gave us free reign to create our own Gymkhana grid playground and practice our craft. This is the place to hone and perfect our skills in three different level zones. Show me your creativity, and you might get your chance to become the Gymkhana Motorfest driver. But for now, let me just show you around. You're gonna love it here. Looks like you're not the only one working out today. Lots of drivers out to burn rubber. No pressure. There's no need to rush this morning. This guy ahead, he's doing great at donuts. New rule, the more tricks you perform, the more bucks you earn. But wait too long between tricks and the buck counter will drop. That bonus is for true Jim Connor Masters only. Madman is back. Go slide his line, just follow his tire tracks. That's why I love this place. You have a wrecking ball, and you always have guys to get creative with it. Performing the wildest tricks, this is the Gymkhana DNA. bit of preparation to become a Gymkhana driver. A lot, in fact. But for now, just remember this. If you have the right mindset, you'll be capable of anything. Like drifting to the edge of a canyon, or jumping over a helicopter, or, I don't know, anything.
gone to the end and I haven't even told you about this monster that spit fire out of its V8. I mean, you are driving the mother of all Mustangs. Cross that line and I'll tell you more about it. So in the first event, you already get to drive the Hoonicorn? Realize that's the wildest Gymkhana machine we have ever built. You're a lucky one. It took us two years to transform a 1965 Mustang into that. The updated version uses the same Ford V8, but this time with two massive turbos. Let's see how you did on this first outing. We'll film a few moments, a good way to see how you progress through the playlist. It's gonna take some time for you to harness all of this power. This thing makes crazy torque. It's not exactly a ride for beginners. All right, look, we're gonna keep the Hoonicorn, but we're gonna stay on the grid playground. I wanna see how accurately you can actually slide this thing around. First training session, we're gonna rough up the Hoonicorn a bit. We're focusing on Gymkhana Essentials, big slides and precision. Get the right amount of points and we move on. The next trick, it's the grind rail. To grind these, you need to be properly aligned and to hit them at a high speed to slide all the way. On your right and back again. Figure eight ahead. Try not to slide too wide. Now toss it back the other way. Up for a little grind rail. Passing through these tunnels earns you points too. They force you to be precise. Come on, one last round. Give me a few more tricks. Tire slaying monster. Don't be shy with it. Hell yeah, that's my driver. The first time we installed the grind rail was in Florida. We thought a car doing the skateboard trick, man, that's gotta be cool. And it was. Still a bit light. Give it another shot. First step 
in the quest of becoming a Gymkhana master. The tricks we set up require a ton of precision and therefore training. Proper car control requires timing and impact. Everything is weight balance. Engage the brake hard at that perfect moment. Get proper steering, but above all, never lift. Let's see how you handled your first slides with the Hoonicorn. All right, so now the real test is gonna be whether or not you can manage to put this all together in real Gymkhana conditions. First, out of this first ad I wanna put together. There's two cars I wanna see go head to head. Take your pick. The Coupe Quattro, a turbo monster with infinite blueness. We're in the This vs. That event. The guys and I do it all the time. We put two cars on the grid and see which one is the fastest. We can only compare cars for the fun of it. Don't worry if you lose. But let's see if you bet on the right horse. Our two competitors today belong to the collection of a true Volkswagen nerd, me. These cars on track, it makes me feel emotional. And a little bit anxious, to be honest. Don't crash yours, please. I'll tell Gary the same thing. This race is like seeing a Jack Ferdinand Porsche fighting a buffed up August Cork in the octagon. In the red corner, the 965 Turbo, upgraded to over 400 horsepower with Japanese aesthetics. Love this. And in the blue corner, the 1990 Coupe Quattro with a big turbo that takes it up over 800 horsepower. A good little boy. They both have a lot of power, and they're both insane. I'm not going to bed before kissing these two beauties goodnight. It calms me. Listen, you keep that to yourself, all right? It's just, uh, you know, I'm really proud of these machines. Volcano, my guys are preparing a first Gymkhana test for you over there. Things are gonna get real. The end is near. Oh boy, it's gonna be tough watching either of my babies lose. If you wanna push the car to its limit, now is the time. about
about that, Ferdinand. All right, all right. Ah, <laughs> he did great. But honestly, that this versus that was heartbreaking to watch. On one side, you've got this 1990 Audi Coupe Quattro that took me a mere two decades to see crazy hill climbing beasts. And on the other, the ultimate goal for any VW Audi Porsche nerd like myself. One of the first two cars that Raw Wealth ever built outside of Japan. Check out the hips on that thing. I know we patched this whole thing together, but I just can't watch either of these lose. So uh, I'll just, yeah, I'm just gonna keep my eyes closed for this one. All good? Can I open my eyes now? Let's meet at the foot of the volcano. It's time to put your skills to the test an actual zoom call. First test, the volcano. It really spruced up the place. The plan's simple. You go up to the summit, then drive down as fast as you can while performing various tricks. I want to see if you can be both fast and precise in such a challenging environment. All right, I'd be lying if I didn't happen to mention a few drivers might have gone down the ravine. Eh, it was kind of rough. But that's not gonna happen to you. And after all, the Camaro, virtually unbreakable. Good luck. soon. Time to see what you've learned. Finish the race on time. Do as many tricks as you can. And on top of winning that money, you'll win my heart. Deal? Big Block is ultra powerful, and that's not a euphemism. But she's not a natural born Gymkhana machine like the Hoonful. You can drift the streetcar for sure, but it's at your own risk with the handbrake. jump over it, like now. Now that's what we call proximity. This type of moment in a video with slow-mo, now that's badass. to take the rail.
designed this path in reference to hill climbs. Hardcore uphill races. But in a volcano, dude, you take it up a notch. Come on, I want to see you flirt with the precipice a little longer. Kill these tires. Watch out for roadworks, 100 meters ahead. Following at high speed through roadworks, jumping over a chopper, that's why Gymkhana's exist. the chopper. The end is right over there. done that time attack was crazy and honestly not very easy to negotiate especially in a thousand horsepower camaro this machine owes its power to the extremely prominent 632 big block coming through the hood we also beefed up the drivetrain specifically going with straight cut gears because chimkana drivers tend to be a little hard on their equipment and break everything and by the way we shot a couple highlight videos i figured you might want to watch them <laughs> This race, it had its wow moments, but the others, they're gonna need to be even more spectacular than that. I need you to go pick up this Mitsubishi Evo 9, and then you gotta bring it back to the shop so Ron, the rally guru, and the boys can jump on it and get a build going. this Evo in this area. It's quite rare in the US, so I had to jump on it. I've told Ron, and the team can't wait to get their hands on it. And what's more, we've got a sunset and great sound. Everything's smiling on us. Chill out a bit. I think we'll have to check the geometry after this.
car doesn't look like much. Just look at the interior. No frills, classic Japanese minimal. But there's always more. Mitsubishi gave us a nice inline four cylinder with already 280 horsepower. That, we're gonna turn up a bit. Believe me, this bad boy is gonna make an absolute Gymkhana beast. We just need to give it a Hoonigan touch. carbon to it, a good way to give it some street spirit. Like a carbon hood, roof, and four doors. Did I say a little carbon? <laughs> I meant a lot. Creating a Gymkhana car is always exciting. You start with an idea, toss in some passion, fantasy, and insanity, and you get the ultimate car. Thanks for your help, appreciate it. Ron's inside, he's gonna take care of Mademoiselle. training session. Nobody at dawn, we've got the playground to ourselves. That was a precision strike section. You have to hit the sticks with your car's bumper. And that is a wall ride. Do you know how to drift against gravity? You're gonna learn. Today's all about using the skills you learned before and moving up the gear. Coming up, try to skid when you're on top, but be careful. If you take off, you could lose control of your vehicle. All right, let's 
go again with the precision strike. The trick is not going too fast and just throwing the car in before the first stick. Pull the handbrake if you have to. see one stick standing. the most futuristic of all Gymkhana cars. It could drift on the moon, so get me to the stratosphere. All right, you dizzy yet? Should be. But I also think you're starting to finally understand what it is to Gymkhana. Donuts, the wall ride, the grind, they're all technical stunts and difficult to pull off, of course. But the true value is in the spectacle. Gymkhana is entertainment. The aim is to create the most dramatic and wild moments. It can take anywhere from six months to a year for us to gather all of the ideas and locations and everything, but a driver only has a few minutes to make it all work. Come on, check out your moves. The one advantage to EVs is the acceleration and instant torque. No matter the situation, you'll always have enough power to pull off a stunt. As always, we're going to put your skills to the test. But let's change things up a bit. How about a little of this versus that? Go park the Hoonatron. It's big block versus big block. big block edition so the motorfest side all right all right Two 
Chevys, two big blocks, but only one winner? It's prophetic. It's a bit of an exaggeration, but I really like the concept of this race. turns are back. pickup like the 3100 i admit it's bold i'm curious about the time they had to make it on our side we built that camaro kit in three weeks we even had a 3d printed it's not a cockfight we agree but let it be said you just passed the camaro i'll give you a hundred bucks if you slow down a bit huh all right, forget that. That is savagery. The decisive lap. Well done. It's a practice run, your final one. So let's see you put those newfound skills to the test. We turned it up a bit this time. You're gonna be racing against other drivers for this one. The car, the track, the electric atmosphere, it's all there. I wanna show you how everything works together in Jim Connor. Throw down some crazy tricks, win the race, and I might just consider you for Gymkhana Motorfest. Good luck.
That makes me happy. Slide left. So you know, the Hunachan blossoms in first place only. We've got lightning, red neon light, and the Hunachan. It's a blast. Just what we're looking for in Jumkong. Create a unique atmosphere. is full of turn, the ideal zone for striking and winning bucks. to play it cool, but color me impressed. You clearly have the drive and the moves we're looking for. But the Hunachan does make it kind of easy, doesn't it? Its design and inspiration came from one of the most legendary and important rally cars of all time, the S1 E2 Quattro. Two Formula E engines allow this thing to absolutely incinerate tires. Thing is, you have the skills. See for yourself. <laughs>
Let's go. That's got to be my favorite moment of the race. Nice work, sport. You finally made it to the big show. My team and the crew at Motorfest are putting on the final details for Jim Connor Motorfest. But we have one more challenge for you. back here for one more challenge before I give you the keys to the house. Let me clarify. I took the Hoonicorn out for a ride this morning. Not the kind of car you'd expect to take a trip to the seaside, right? So I figured with that setting, a drift record was the perfect thing to do. You know, casual stuff. All right, you see where I'm going with this? I want to see if you can beat my score in the same conditions. I don't think it's going to be too difficult with everything you've learned during the playlist. You have to beat my score. You really think you can do it? All the elements, grind, donut, everything you've learned is worth points. Only 30 seconds left. Only 
25 seconds left. Only 20 seconds? I'm kidding. I'll stop doing that. It's not fair. me on that one. You definitely shredded like your life depended on it. And you left your mark all over the burnyard. We appreciate that. <laughs> yeah, that's what we call victory donuts. All right, look, we waited long enough. You've done it. You're a Gymkhana driver now. Finish the playlist. Gymkhana Motorfest, here we come. for, isn't it, to become a Gymkhana master. Motorfest allowed us to spice up the island with a huge Gymkhana grid playground and create the most entertaining race ever, littered with the craziest and wildest stunts that we could think of. All right, this is your moment. Drive as accurate as possible. It's your performance that'll make it exceptional. Remember that Evo 9? Well, Ron and the boys finally finished building it. And to christen it, I think we make it your machine for Gymkhana Motorfest. I think it's time to rip it.
help out. I need intravenous tricks. That's it. Junkana mastery. gonna use too many adjectives here. We'll just let the footage speak for itself. Now, let me introduce Gymkhana Motorfest, featuring the Evo 9, starring you. That's right. Driving it because you earned it. 